Hello everyone, it's Shia Blinger Sean again. Now, I, um, a few days ago, um, I, w I was doing the Ultra Commander review, and I stated that after the Ultra Commander review, I would go to, uh, Giant V, Giant or Giant V, also known, and then, uh, Justice V, also known as Twin Blade, and then, um, you know, the others from there, like, you know, Master V, uh, Monster, um, the Troll Slash Beast, um, you know, uh, Archbone, Lightning, and Classic. Now, here's the thing. I ordered them on, uh, on, a, on a website where you can buy toe box. Now, the thing is, I went to my local Toys R Us today, and luckily, they had the last Arc Bolt Slash Lightning in stock, so I was able to get it. And uh, I'm just reviewing him with him today. And I uh, recently got a new tripod here, so let me just tighten it. And this guy is probably, um, he is like the, um, yeah, there's some, um, some paint chipping or some crayon thing going in there, but, um, nonetheless, I mean, it's fine. Um, I might as well just, um, I'll try to wash it later, wash it later with some soap. Um, I mean, the same on this side. Um, but I just unboxed it a few days ago, and it started becoming like this. And, um, his Toki here is the, um, it, it's like a battery pack, which is really cool. So you got, um, I guess two AA batteries. And what's the, what's the cool thing is that this thing has an ammo mode. So, pull this out. Pull this out, which is basically, I think, like a USB port of some sorts. And pull this out. This is like an eel head because, you know, electric eel. So... Um, this is a very cool design why so you can fold this back in and you can basically just put this on top and then plug them on top of here and I think that this is a really cool design 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 why so um, in this mode he rolls very well I, I like how he's um, sort of futuristic little compact car thing um, the thing is you can't remove this because in his packaging, you can't really store this while in his back, so they had to remove it. Now the thing is, you can unscrew these screws here with a screwdriver, and you can pop this up. You can put in maybe some Lego figures inside of there, or some very small minifigures, or some mystery minis, or whatnot. Um, but. Um, I don't I really don't want to do that unless like I permanently keep the Lego figures in there or the the figures inside of um, Arc Bolt. And speaking of Arc Bolt, I really like Arc Bolt compared to Lightning, um, just because it feels more unique than just oh this guy is Lightning, like Lightning, <laughs> like yeah he's fast but you're just gonna call him Lightning. But I mean okay, but Arc Bolt is a very nice name. Um, so, enough of me gushing about this car mode, let's, uh, let me uh, show you this up close here. So, got the, um, very nice paint apps, aside from the, it just ignore these paint covering, there's some little vents, I guess, on the side here, or exhausts. This, these things could act as, could act as exhausts as well, but not really. And I could imagine, like, say, he's in danger or something, and people are inside of him, and he's like, Okay, ejection time! Psh. But the way this connects is that there are springs in here. You can see the clear springs and the clear plastic. And then they connect into this little um, joint right here. This little runner joint. And you slide it back in. Oops, there we go. So let's get into the way this guy transforms. Now, the way he transforms really reminds me of one of the um, Ghostsager figures. Uh, um, he was not released in the Mega Force line, and I'll tell you about when I get to his transformation. So, to start off with his transformation, let me raise up my camera a little bit. So to start with this transformation, what we're gonna do is we're just, we're just gonna flip him upwards, and yeah, you can already see basically his head. Pull his arms out and fold out his arms. I think it's one click, at least what I saw in the instructions. And then you have to fold his elbow out like this, and then fold it back, and then fold it back in. That's what I saw. And then 
this is a bit confusing because <sighs> there we go. So one, so do that. Hmm. Okay, and there we go. There we go. So do this, and then we're gonna pull, come to the back here. You see the um, front of the car, the uh, roof. You slide it upwards. Now don't take it off. Just it's connected. It's not really connected anywhere, but the joint is a bit tight. Um, and they're these two little connector connector points are connected into these two slots right here. So the way they connect, and there's some two pegs here. So the way this connects is just boom. And it's a very solid connection. So, or you can also bring this down to take it off. So bring this up. I oh, yeah, split his legs, and I think. This is our bolt in his just regular robot mode. So let me uh, put him in the back. Let me put his battery in the, in his to in the toki in the back here, and let me uh, show him to you up close. Now, as I was saying, he reminds me of one of the Ghostager figures, and that's a lot. And uh, he reminds me of Data's Hyper. If you if you, have you seen Data's Hyper, you know he has this little you know cutesy little um. You know, TV mode or whatever it's called, and then he has this like this super cool Megazord looking uh, mode, and I will show that to you later. But for now, he looks really cool. Um, he has the same thing as Paragon or Classic, where um, there are two of them. There's like in the Tobot V, as I say in the first or in the um, Big Trail review. There's like multiple sets of Tobot V or Galaxy Detective figures. There's the um, the first three, which is usually just you know the Tokis or the the first three. They usually act the same, like Speed, Monster, and Rocket. They have Tokis that you actually insert into the um, into the Tobots, and then um, Tank Man or Tank Guy, uh, Great Admiral, and then Big Trail, and then the Troll. He they they um, get animals to plug it into. And they have the, like the chest, the head, stuff like that. And that's also the same thing going on here. Um, Leo Rover, Captain Jack, and uh, Cyclone Hawk, they have, um, they're basically all the same. They have unique, um, they have unique uh, play sets, uh, play styles. Well, this guy in Paragon slash Classic, they, he has um, about another uh, set of play styles. Well, they have this cute little somewhat chibi-ish um, mode where they're just really small and then they have an extension mode where uh, I think you can see the head where it is it, it's like a data typer type of thing where they small to this a small little cutesy yeah, chibi robot and then they turn into this sort of man machine I guess so um, I guess for articulation in this mode um, you don't really get anything unless you pull out the elbows but that is for extension mode so I'm gonna keep that there, uh, but you can. Uh, the elbows, the, the 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 arms can move a little bit, and the uh, hands can rotate a little bit. Um, he has a waist articulation, although it is really hard to get anything out of this mode because that that's basically all you can do. Same thing on. Yeah, not, never mind on this side. But there we go. If you bend his legs down, you can get more leverage with it. So if you, as he's sitting down there, you can rotate this. And it's on a very tough ratchet, very strong, very strong ratchet. And let me uh, show you the details on his face. So he has these two little beatsy cutie eyes, and he has a nose, which I'll show you what this is later. Um, he has this cart, this um, dashboard up here. Or his feet, and as I said, these will these would kind of be exhaust. And he does have feet articulation. His legs can go forward, not really back because of the uh, backpack and this stuff. But they can go in and out. Only one click. They can rotate at the. They can rotate at the leg at the foot. Um, you can leave it like this. But he's kind of looking up. So I prefer it like this. And you can basically impose him sitting down because these things are literally um, just helping him sit down. So he's yeah, sitting down, I am sitting down, I'm lazy. So that's about, that's enough of me gushing about this mode. Let's get into the uh, hyper, uh, sorry, not hyper mode, the um, extension mode. 
Now, first th thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the battery pack, the battery here, battery toki, fold this out, and then basically fold it up, you get a V. And we'll put this off to the side. And now, what I will show you is, um, first of all, what you're gonna do, and this is really cool here, um, instead of Data Sniper where he's parts forming, this guy he literally folds out. So what you do is you fold up his feet, and you fold up his uh, shins, his shin guards, and you unfold out his entire leg, and, and um, his old shin will um, click back into his leg to fill in the gap, and this will become a uh, knee pad. So fold this out, fold the, fold the foot, fold this out, fold this out, fold this in. And that is really nice, actually. And let me straighten out my tripod. Now, we're going to split the uh, arms. Like, um, like this is what it was when we have to split them all the way out until they stop clicking. And then you're going to fold these arms all the way out. And he fell down. Fold out the hands and fold them down and fold them one step out and now what you're gonna do and that's his head what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, there's a button right here and there's a there's a button on his nose if you press this his uh, extension head will come out now what will this do um, is you'll fold this down and there's a little button right here if you press this then the head will pop out but what the instructions really tell you to do is you need to take the toki And there is in the Toki, there the tab here has a giant um, block section here, and it's gonna go right into that section. It's gonna push the head up. So if you push this in, boom. And I really like that head sculpt. I I love that help head sculpt. Like it is really cool. I I really like the visor, the um, sort of Autobot looking head. It looks really cool. Reminds me yeah. of. Uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think uh, Blaster. From Transformers, um, yeah, yeah, it was Blaster. He reminds me of a combination between Blaster and Jazz. If you, um, for me, just for me, I'm not sure about you. And it fell down. This is one of the problems. This thing really loves to fall down a lot because the, the clip is not really that strong. And so this is Arc Bolt in his hyper hyper mode. So um, he looks really really nice like i i would say better than classic or paragon in my opinion um i think i'm gonna call him paragon and i'm gonna call this guy Arpo. i really like their english names compared to their korean names but i really like how his head bobbles as well it's, it's kind of annoying but it is fun like if you're gonna like uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. now for articulation in this mode oh he gets much more articulation his head well, it's on a ball joint, but he cannot rotate around 360 because his chin will bump into um, these two ridges right there. But they can rotate side to side like that because they're on a ball joint. Um, the arms can go around uh, 360 on these really soft ratchets. They can go in and out, but they'll bump into um, these sections here. So prongs rotate. They have a he has a double jointed elbow like that, so you rotate double jointed elbow although he has a kind of same problem as pentastorm where it, his shoulder pad really obstructs me unless you uh pull this all the way back and then you get the full uh, uh double jointed elbow but i don't prefer to do that because i, I really like this design of the um this type of design and then he uh, rotates at the wrist like I showed you a while ago so it can fold up like this but that is a transformation joint and he can rotate at the waist this time extremely full yeah this ratchet is strong as you can hear listen so that's for his upper body his lower body on the other hand gets much more leverage than his old than his um Data's, uh, not Data's, his, um, his, uh, old form. Now you can go forward, back, and you go, let's fold this up. You go in and out really far, rotate at the knee, but not much because of the, um, thing right here. But if you open that up, you can 
get the entire full range of it. Literally, I'm not kidding. Look, you can get the full range. So, and then um, that's Buddy again, Realty at the toe, which is kind of unfortunate. But let's get him into a really niche pose. You could, right? maybe he's gonna dash or something. Like I could imagine this guy like maybe like an as an Ant Man type Tobot where maybe he's gonna transform and get snap out the other Tobots if they become infected by maybe a, a virus or something. And let me fold this one out. Okay, and he looks really nice. I, I really like this guy. He is an amazing figure. I definitely recommend picking this guy up. He is, if I had to say, he's actually somewhat better than the original three. Like uh, compared to say, Leo Rover and Captain Jack and Cyclone I prefer this guy over them. Because surprisingly, this guy is my first Tobot, uh, Tobot V Season 2 Tobot. That, like, like, that's the reason why I got into Tobot V or Tobot Galaxy Detectives in the first place. Uh, in Season 2, at least, because of this guy. I really like this guy's design. Um, like, I, did, I, I didn't like Leo Rovers or Captain Jack. I was like, yeah, no, I don't want to do anything with those guys. So I was like, oh, this guy looks pretty cool. I, I, I wonder what this guy does. And then he transfers into this little data hyper um, guy, which I think is really cool. So um, if if you get the chance, I definitely recommend picking this guy up. Um, your, your local Toys R Us or Target, Walmart. Actually, no, never mind. I don't even sell those there. Um, and this guy is really cool. I recommend picking him up. And I will see you guys in the next video. And this time I will. I will promise I will review Giant uh, or Gigan slash Giant Feet. And until then, I'll see you then.